No, you look fabulous. Oh, good. We're live. Yes, we're live. Good morning and welcome to Candid Conversations with me, Linda Burhans, just interviewing interesting people and good people and good stuff that's going on. And Mark and I have known each other for quite a while. Uh, Don't tell them how many years, Linda. Then they'll kind of figure out how old we are. Oh, damn. It's like 18 years, probably, or 20 okay, years. I said, Don't tell them, but okay. Well, uh, Ole, it can help you look young. <laughs> I don't care anymore what I look like. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm kind of with you. I have more chins. Oh, I can't say any of those. Off Just sit like this. <laughs> You'll see a lot of my pictures after the radio show. So anyway. I like it. All right. So let's talk about networking today. So, you know, I've always been a, a big networker. You're a big, net, big networker. And I'm, I'm, I'm scared to say that there are people out there that know nothing about networking. Nothing. As a matter of fact, dealing with the journey with Aaron, almost every single person I ran into said, well, why would we need to network? And I, the home health care lady, I had said, well, you probably deal with a lot of patients who need their yards mowed and there's trees right. trimmed and their cars repaired, right. maybe in-home services, ramps out front. Yeah. All of those, it's like a word of mouth referral system. Right. Right. That you have in your back pocket because Linda's not going to recommend somebody she doesn't like, know, and trust. Exactly. Right? And you're then safe by recommending it to your client that the guy will come and put in the right handicap rail that won't fall over when they need to get in and out of there. Yes. And he'll be insured and he'll be right. licensed. And, and if he falls, like it won't go on his homeowner's insurance policy. And you could tell, like, I could have pulled the little chain in the lamp. The light went off. Well, how do I go to one of these meetings? And I said, well, they're <laughs> literally, they're all over the internet. Everywhere. But you can go to rganetwork.net and find a meeting near me. And Well, how many meetings do you have now? Holy guacamole. You know, I knew you were good. We're over 15 in person and we do four Zoom meetings a week. So it's crazy. I, I think we're up to 20, but I would have to. Now, we, the pandemic was very kind to us as far as the Zoom platform. Yeah. We literally did 15 meetings a week and yeah. expanded our footprint to include Atlanta, Orlando, Sarasota, Tennessee, Indiana. I can't remember them all. And I apologize yeah. for our team leaders in all those cities. I'll remember them by the yeah. best. Yes, but it, it, it's just so important. It, it's so important to get out there. Zoom has has been a gift of COVID, I think. You know, for myself, I didn't want to do a support group on Zoom. I need to be there live. I need to hug you. I need to. But now I have people in my support groups from all over the United States, Canada, England even. It's crazy. We've leaped into the, the millennial stage of life with both feet. Because, like, honest to God, they made us get iPhones because it's the only way we can talk to our nieces and nephews. Let's FaceTime. I'm like, okay, what is FaceTime? I know. You know, and then you're like, wow, holy cow. I mean, it's, you know, back yeah. from the days, Linda, when we were, you know, when we would talk on the phone in the kitchen, the cord had to stretch long exactly. for us to go to the refrigerator, to the stove. And if it didn't, you went to Radio Shack, folks. Radio Shack is an old kind of technology store yeah. that have on every corner. Yeah. And you get that 20 foot cord, right? Yes, it was crazy. It was crazy. So I know. My grandchildren just don't have no no concept. None. You know, and it, what's so funny is I'm like, well, you know, really old thing, dial the phone, right? That was when we dialed yeah, the phone. Yeah, they don't know how to dial the phone. But they know what dial the phone means, right? It's like roll down the window. And our one little uh, nephew, uh, hey, Caleb, goes, you mean push the button? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I said, yes, Caleb, push the button. He goes, where did roll come to? So I said, back when your mom was your age, she used to have to crank that window. Yes, will that work? <laughs> well, you know, I, I said to my grandson the other day, he's 18, he was in his car. I wanted to tell him something. I said, write it down. He goes, I don't have any paper. What's paper? I go, it's what you write messages on. No, Grandma, it's this is what you do. Yeah, you put so, it in notes. I'm like, I want you to write this on a piece of paper. So I get a piece of paper. I said, you got a pen? No, they don't have a pen. So I give them one of my pens. They go, there's a stylus on it. Woohoo! Oh, there you go. You Nobody made... uses a pen to write. They use it no. as a stylus. That's right. No, That's networking right. Networking is is a gift that people can give their clients um 
because they're pre-approved kind of word of mouth people because honest to god you know as well as i do you go to an auto mechanic you're at their mercy of what's wrong with your car but if you eat lunch with an auto mechanic every week and something goes wrong with your car you're going to feel a little more comfortable about their diagnosis of the car right because you're eating lunch with them every week well the thing is too with networking you you know you build relationships you build lifelong friendships right i mean and and what i love about networking and and groups like yours like rga is you can come in and not have a clue and there's people there that's going to help you a hundred percent you know especially if you're like a new business it's hard being a new business and and then you get to find all kinds of things that you need so in my new business i need somebody that does printing you know i i need somebody that does this and you'll find that there I like it. I mean, we, we do a background check on every single person when they join. It's just a simple background check. We don't let any child molesters, sexual predators, or people who've written a lot of bad checks. We've all bounced a check or two. Yeah. Every time, right? But if you've consistently done it in a short amount of time, we, we say, you know, go someplace else that doesn't do a background check. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's just... Why but most we- of the times, you don't have any problems. Well, there's been a few. I could give you a list of folks in Pinellas County that. Um, All right. Well, when this is over, we'll talk a little. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'll share that list. Um, um, yeah. So tell, explain to our listeners uh, what a networking meeting is like. So RGA is a little different. We like to say we take our. And RGA stands for? Revenue generating activities. Okay. Because I went to a lot of other groups that were all about the group making a lot of money yeah right when you go to these community organizations that are typically named after a city it's you're always buying something to attend their meetings now Mm -hmm. some of them do the alleged free kind of thing but they want you to join that group there's nothing's for free no some of them some of them are like a cult they're like a cult. Yes, there's the the Heil Nazi things. We're not that group. We're a much more lighthearted group. We believe whatever you do from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. should be a revenue generating activity. So hopefully when you go to a meeting, you will find someone that will help you expand your circle of influence. You can either put them in your Rolodex or more importantly, learn who to avoid. You know, there there are a lot of people back in the day when we we did that F group, right, that you would find people to avoid. They were always selling the next opportunity. Yeah. I'll never forget this girl. And it was at one of those meetings and she was claiming she made on this weight loss program and she was a heavy set girl. She would say she lost half her body weight in 30 days and she was working on the other half. And it finally came out because we all know Mark just says what everybody else is thinking. I finally said, well, how fat were you? Because you're still a really big girl. I mean, if you were 600 pounds and now you're 300, I would be much more impressed than if you were 360 pounds and now you're 300. And how long does the next phase take? Right. And then she told us that she was making $120,000 a year. And I said, Connie, you rolled up in a Hyundai Sonata. If you was making $120,000 a year, you'd at least be in a Toyota Camry. <laughs> what you, you, some I mean, of them just want to sell, sell, sell. I remember this one gal when I had professional women in power. Okay, she didn't want to pay you $10 to come in for the damn lunch. But she's out in the parking lot with her trunk open selling stuff. Oh my God. And you have to, you know, you, you have to appreciate that if you've ever been to New York and you've been off of the Times Square main thing, you want some watches? We've got watches. You want purses? We've got purses. And those are all great for like grandchildren gifts, but you wouldn't want to give that to you where you'd be like, look, the, the V and the L don't line up. <laughs> like this isn't a real Louie. I know what a real Louis looks like. Exactly. So I love networking because you do you build a relationship you find out their credentials like how long they've been doing what they've been doing um you find out from other people because not everybody i always say in networking there's what i call a turn if you're a hair salon you could rule networking because everybody gets their hair cut every six weeks 
And we most of us are semi married to our hairstylist because we like them and we like right. the way we yes. do that yeah. relationship. But that one time they make you look not like you wanted to look or colored your hair the wrong color or whatever it is, you're gonna give that networker you've met that's consistent an opportunity. Right. And if she did razzle dazzled you, all of a sudden you're now her new client. Right. Now, you know, physical therapists, massage therapists, again, their turn as far as getting business is much quicker than a roofer. Right. I mean, God forbid you go to a networking meeting and you have, oh, my God, that rain last night. I have a leak in my roof. Man, that you're right on the roofer because he's there. But normally you have to really like them, know them, and they right. survive off of their reputation on how they handle referrals. All right. And I think the important thing is not just going to the, the meeting, but the re important thing is having those one on ones. And we call them, them. Yeah, we we have our own language at RGA. We call them moms, dads, bobs, cows, zaz. Moms are meetings outside the meeting. Dads are discussions after dinner. Cow, cows are conversations over wine, whiskey or water. Uh, <laughs> LOL, we do LOL leads over lunch. And we always say, because we're a family, find another member and learning why. Because when you find out the why somebody does what they do, you're more apt to do business with them. And I always caution our younger networkers that it's okay that your why is to make a lot of money to provide for your family. Yeah. But that's what you need to say. I want to make a lot of money to provide for my family. I mean, if you right. want to make a lot of money to buy a yacht, we want to know you want to make a lot of money to buy a yacht because most people be like, Hey, that's kind of cool. As long as I get to go on one of your yacht. Exactly. I'll help you do that. So there's nothing wrong with that. Right. But a lot of people they're in their profession for a reason. Right. right. I got into this because there were two types of networking in the area. One I was a part of, and I missed a couple meetings because we were with welcome wagon. And at that time we were launching winter Haven and Lake Wales. And I literally missed two meetings in a row because I was providing food, um, working my family. And I showed up to the meeting. I was unreferable all of a sudden. And I said, what did I do wrong? You know, oh, you didn't send a substitute. And I said, look, the people I've tried to get to come here don't want to come here because it's so, I hate to use the word Nazi-like, but it is Nazi-like. You have this lady who rings this bell and makes you shut up and you have to be quiet and they t t toss around referrals. And then the guests don't even get to set, say what they do or no. No. they just read a pre-written statement. And I, and I would say to them, nope, they buy me. And then they will buy Welcome Wagon second. Exactly. Rep, right. And so them reading Mark and I was doing Welcome Wagon, you know, I was like, that is just so, give me yeah. a break. And yeah. then that other group was a lot of really great people, but they were all selling the opportunity. And I have never met a more dedicated group of people selling lotions, potions, skinny powders, uh, youth creams, vitamins, gummies, yeah. uh, lid, let's see, yeah. uh, kitchenware, knives. Yeah. And I felt like I'm at the home shopping network. Exactly. I'm here at a meeting. And I would always say, well, how much money, you know, let's start out when we would do our, our, our get together. I would say, well, how much money? I mean, if you're really making this money, if I was making that kind of revenue, I think I would take that check and photocopy it on a photocopy machine and, and put them in a binder and say, here's my yeah. first month's check. Here's yeah. my, you would have gotten my attention a lot quicker. Exactly. Right? then the because because like i said i the guy was saying i make 120 thousand i'm like you rolled up in a 2012 yeah. you know what hyundai and nothing against the hyundai's i drive one but you know i would have bought yeah. myself a new hyundai yeah yeah i think it's so important to take the time to take the time to get to know people because then you find the things you have in common you it i i went i remember this years ago i go to meet this woman i find out both of our grandsons are on the same soccer team Get out of town. Yeah, like who oh, knows? Right. right. You know? And that just makes a whole different thing because you feel a little bit more comfortable with the person. Oh yeah, her kid goes to soccer. They're they're in the community. Right. You know, because I do find in this Tampa Bay area, especially, there are a lot of people that really want to work together. There are a lot of people that really want to make a difference and they really do. They put their money where their mouth is. A hundred percent. Yeah. And and even myself, you know, I have a huge network. 
if I don't know the answer to something, or I know somebody who does, just like you do. Right. You know to somebody who does, and you can pull it out. And that is so important, especially when people are new to the area. I'm sure you get a lot of people that come to the networking. I just moved here from New York six months right. ago, and I don't even know where Elmerton Road is. Which is, you know, you try to explain to them because uh, they always want to use like 688 and the highway terms. And I'm like, look, the locals don't use the term alternate 19. No. It's like 31 different roads. Right? right. And there really is a park and a park. Right. But you have to live here to know that. And every street, I can't think of really one street that doesn't have at least two, possibly three different names. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, because you'll be like, you go up Starkey, and then it magically changes into, and then it magically changes into. It is. You know what I mean? And you think, when they designed this, I guess the cities didn't talk to each other, or no. I don't know what it was. But well, I, can, I can remember when I first moved here, two people would say to me, you're driving over the bridge? <laughs> Ooh, I'm going to go all the way over the bridge today. Over the bridge. And yeah. see, I'm from Missouri, so... Like when I was a young lad, it took us, there was 97 miles into town. Now, if you wanted to go into St. Oh Louis, God. it was even further, right? So when people say, oh, I don't want to go over, it's a 14 mile bridge, the Howard Franklin. There's right. two other choices. There's the Courtney Campbell Causeway. And they're the all Cumbie. gorgeous. And they're all gorgeous. And if you wanted to live by the water, you experience the water every time you go over the exactly. bridge. Exactly. You see it glistening and you go, oh, I'm so glad I live here. Right. This is why I moved here is this beautiful thing we call Tampa Bay. Right. But yeah. oh, my gosh, it's the same way with the folks on the beaches. You ask somebody to go over a causeway from the beach. I mean, you're like, oh, my gosh, do I have a medical appointment? That I, I know. <laughs> And I would say, oh, are, are you a foot traffic person? And then they would say, well, look at me. Obviously not. And I'm like, then what's your reservation of driving over the causeway? Right? You're driving everywhere else on the beach. So, I, yeah, I totally get that. We have a girl from Wesley Chapel. And she's a sales rep, right? Her territory is Central Florida. And people would be like, you've driven all the way from Wesley Chapel? I'd be like, they still speak English up there. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, that is true. And I think it's the longer you live here, because one beautiful thing about our area, other than the absolute people and the weather, is there's literally everything you need within four or five miles of yeah. where you live. It's such a densely populated yeah. that, that you don't have to go. But they're missing out on a lot of great opportunities yeah. and festivals and institutions and people. You know. Just people to meet. You know, when I first moved here, I didn't know anybody. And I was in uh, this networking group and it was one person per chapter, you know. But if there was, if you could go visit another chapter if there was no one in your category. And see, how would you know that? And here's what, well, we have no seat limitations. And yes, I think why. that's something good to discuss. Yeah, here's why. Let's say, let's just use a massage therapist. Yep. Let's say you're a female. Yep. And you were looking for a female therapist just because you don't feel comfortable with a male massage therapist. Right. And your single seat group only had a male massage therapist. Now, under their restrictive rules and regulations, you couldn't say, oh, my gosh, I really love Melanie Newman. Let's just use an old massage right. therapist lady's name because you would offend or be in violation of the guy who holds the seat. So. I like to give people three. Here's three people that do that. Yeah. You call them and make sure you mesh with them. Exactly. Like realtors, mortgage brokers, bankers. Well, like with me, if I have to refer an elder care attorney, sometimes it's just a location. Right. My people, my people don't want to go to St. Pete. They want somebody in Clearwater. Or, or they don't want to drive over the bridge. God yeah. forbid, right? And sometimes yeah. it's male, female also. And sometimes right. it's just the personality. 100%. You know, but yeah, so I love that. And it's and it's also I think competition keeps people's game up. Yeah. You know what I mean? If you're a realtor, a massage therapist or whatever you are and you know there's competition within your own group, you're going to keep bring your A game all the time. Yeah. Right? And how many times have you seen also the collaboration? So we work together like oh you can go together. like I'm going on vacation next week. Maybe you could do some of my massage people or whatever. We, we have actually had that. We um 
one of our they do carpet cleaning and disaster restoration got one of their largest jobs from a smaller company that could not handle right. the job and it was from a property manager and she said to the guy look if he calls me for other business i'm going to refer him back to you because you we can do the large job but we're not taking your right uh, your job away or your exactly. and and that ended up i think she made two hundred and fifty thousand dollars off of that job so and that was a collaboration thing right like you said if they're on vacation or you know anything like if you need a massage sometimes you need a massage right so but it, it, I, I think it's just interesting to be able to meet different people and see how it, you know see who fits and what the what the fit is right but sometimes it's just a personality or but i love the collaboration and i and i've seen that happen more and more you know when i first started doing what i'm doing now i was the only kid on the block i, I was the only one doing caregiving caregivers didn't even know they were caregivers but right. you know I, I had to education educate them that they were caregivers before i could help them but now there's a lot of people that do what i do and that's fabulous because we have i and i can't do it all right you can't there's no way you can do it all no and and, I, and there's people to refer a hundred percent so just for your viewers information rganetwork.net land on our website there's many different opportunities for you to reach out one attend a meeting in person no reservations necessary just show up the team leaders are on there so you'll get to introduce yourself to them they'll introduce you to the group um we have several zoom meetings one tonight we have an evening one because we found there are people who have a side hustle they work through the week right yeah so that's tonight i believe it's six it's on the website uh through zoom we have a thursday morning zoom and i'm sure i'm leaving one out i guess i should pull up okay. my website but rdnetwork.net the other thing is during the pandemic we um literally were recognized by abc cbs and i saw that we name all those places and then the one i'm most proud of is the tampa bay business journal picked us as a business of diversity not only in the wide variety of businesses we represent but for our trans friends our gay and lesbian friends our regular straight friends yep. the business of diversity so and our leadership is growing by leaps and bounds we've brought on a cmo and it's kind of funny because this guy's a pretty smart dude. You know, he's a younger dude. And um, after he started telling people what a chief marketing officer is, what, see, I had to ask him what it stood for, right? Yeah. I started seeing other people say, oh, I'm a CMO, right? And I'm like, you started a trend, bro. But this guy's done it for, a, I don't, I maybe about 15 years with other companies, taking them to the next level. And he's certainly doing that for RGA. And we're very grateful. That's fabulous. Yeah. So we have a, our, our team leaders run our meetings. Um, and then, Linda, you're more than welcome to have a free table at the Summer Business Expo because you're a nonprofit, right? We do that at Ruth Eckert Hall, July 27th. We're doing like a treasure map. It'll be a pirate theme. So, and it's to raise money for our nonprofits. So yeah. um, that's why we give you guys a free table because we want you to help spread the message. And we oh. have some we have some fabulous nonprofits around here. You know that. You, I do. Where you live, give where you live, live is what I say. A hundred percent. Women with purpose. Uh, love thy neighbor. We have ha Habitat for Humanity. Yeah. Crossroads, which I love. There, they haven't come out about the 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 Supreme Court thing, but I, Crossroads has always been near and dear to my heart because a. In my opinion, if you're going to be talking about abortions, all the penises in the room need to get up and get out and let the women discuss it because there's no repercussions on guys, right? We're just right. a donor. But they educate you on the three, either abort the child, adopt the child, or keep the child. But Crossroads puts their money where their mouth is. If you keep the child, they help you till that child is like two years old. Yeah. With and clothes and medical care and all yeah. that so and that's unheard of right i mean yeah. so it's one thing to say oh you got to keep the baby it's another thing to make sure they have formula and diapers and that they can right exactly. that they exactly. can afford to but that's july 27th ruth eckert hall we're excited about that it's like our 12th 
summer business expo, right? It's cool. So, yeah, I mean, it's 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 an interesting. Uh, so, how far do you want to expand? You know, I, my goal that I wrote down for 2022 was global domination. <laughs> we even changed our logo to represent the world, right? So, yeah, hopefully one of these days, you know, I'll have leadership take over and I'll just do things like you do. We'll just be on Zoom yeah. calls and, and YouTube channels and all that kind of stuff. We'll just get on people. We do have Trash Colin is coming to the Summer Business Expo. Colin is a native Indian Rocks Beach guy who got disgusted. He loves the beach and he would go and find plastics and all that kind of stuff. So he started doing a Tic Tac video every day for a year about cleaning up the environment and doing beach cleanups. He now has like 1.4 million followers. My favorite story of his is he went and got old pallets fixed them together, painted them up and said, put your used beach toys and floats here. So when people left the beach, if they yeah. were home, right? Well, literally, you know, Indian Rocks, Reddington Shores, yeah. were all ticketed him for putting these things there till he went and spoke in front of them by saying, we can I'm literally- helping you. I'm helping you. We can literally change the, our impact on that. So he'll be at the expo. He's dynamic. It's Trash Colin. He has 1.4 million followers. Uh, we're going to be organizing a cleanup like in August after the expo. Oh, let me know. I'd love to be part of that. Yeah, people. But he also has a company that has now made biodegradable beach toys, the shovels, the castles. Wow. So if the handle does get put into our waters, it's fine. It's, it's fine. It goes away in no time. And he's convinced the hotel that is behind the Clearwater Marine Aquarium uh -huh. go you know, completely um, non-plastic. So they have the wooden spoons. I think they're made out of avocado. Uh -huh. so, I mean, and then we tested them. They're like regular plastic spoons. But again, they get in the ocean, they just dissolve in that. Oh, it's fabulous. Um, yeah, it's it's a it's a great thing. So we have a lot of chambers that are joining us, a lot of the upper Tampa Bay chambers. Um, that will be there. So we're, you know, it's it's kind of, we we believe as the water rises, so shall all boats. And we want the Tampa Bay community to be so high up that yeah. everybody wins, right? Together, everybody wins. I love how you said, give where you live, together, everybody wins, right? Together, everyone achieves more, right? Isn't that the exactly. way it means? And we're all a team. We're a human race, you know? Yeah. Um, in one of our videos, they had asked about, networking and a lot of it is centered around food because breaking bread has been a source of yeah, the yeah. gathering since the beginning of time and that's where you know thing you know heartbreaks are discussed heartaches are discussed joyful things are discussed yeah a lot of proposals are discussed first dates second dates yeah you know so yeah we're very excited and ruth eckert hall couldn't be a better venue yeah they're fabulous they're, yeah they're fabulous that, um Marjorie uh, Stellman, great yeah. room upstairs. My goodness. Yeah. So we're, we have a, a jam-packed uh, July 27th, and we're excited yeah. about it. Good. Well, thank you so much for being with me today, my friend. Oh, um, thank you. This was prayer, easy. Prayer, right? Prayers coming your way. Thank you. All the prayer. I can use all the prayers I can get. Well, you got them coming from me. And uh, when things quiet down, let's get together for dinner or something. A hundred percent. That'd be amazing. Thanks so, so thank much, everybody. RGANetwork.net. You got it. Have a delicious day. Thank you. Bye.